Alright then. <laughs> It's 9.45, I just turned 17 a few days ago. I was just swiping through Instagram. One of my friends posted that it's actually 100 days till SPM. And here we are. Now SPM, it's obviously the biggest thing of the past decade for me. Maybe even since I was born, everything has been leading up to this one exam. For those who don't know, SPM is on the same level with GCSEs and O levels, if I'm not mistaken. My goal for SPM 2019 is indeed 9A+. Plus. Doesn't matter what happens, I'm gonna get it. Alright, there's a hundred days to SPM. This is what I'm doing. First and foremost, I deleted Instagram, I deleted Facebook, I deleted PUBG. Took down my certificates. Created a mindset where I have nothing now. And SPM is everything for me. And one of the other things I did was I printed out motivational quotes or whatever you want to call it. I have this first paper here where right? it's an SPM 90 plus with all my subjects. As you can see, this is my all-rounder list. But for 2018, I got it all except for sports. This year, I managed to get a start in sports as well. So I can be an all-rounder this year and I'm not going to miss that. I also made a whole separate YouTube account just for my studies. And finally, I always manifested me getting straight A plus and nothing less. Positive affirmations only. Trials are in like two weeks. My aim is to get straight A's. My aim is to get straight A's. Okay, so you might be wondering, what happened there? I can explain. I've always been more of a science and math person. One of the things I hate to do is actually reading. My study method is fully practical or visual. I only do reading if I have absolutely no other option. So history was actually my hardest subject. I'm not a reader, okay? And the thing is, I've actually never gotten an A for history throughout Form 4 and Form 5. So getting a B plus is actually a step in the right direction. As for Malay... I'm telling you, I deserve at least a B for this. Here's a video of me speaking proper Malay in a public speaking competition. You see, I'm actually alright. I can't even believe that I'm alone. Though, all I can say is a certain someone screwed us all over. If I speak, I am in in big trouble. In big trouble. Also, the amount of seminars we went to really didn't help. Really didn't help. getting thoughts of like I'm not meant to be happy every time that I am happy something terrible happens so now even if I get my desired results how long am I gonna be happy for before something extremely bad happens I just want to be happy so that was me being depressed literally a month before SPM and the fact that I was so close to SPM just made me even more depressed because I kept feeling guilty for not studying but the thing is I just couldn't. Every time I tried, I just end up crying and asking myself, what's the point? I give my absolute best for something, but I end up not getting it because of politics and things I can't control. I won't go into detail, but politics exists in school. And maybe that's why politicians do crap like this. Honestly, I was ready to give up. I just couldn't do it anymore. I remember crying so much and laughing about how sad I was. I felt insane. But one phone call changed everything. Yeah, Asif, listen. Things happen, good or bad, they happen for a reason. So you're going through it right now. It means God is preparing you for the future. You've already come so far. Are you gonna give up now? You're so close to achieving your dream. You're gonna get that scholarship, man. I believe in you, so don't give up yet, alright? That's my friend Azim and those were some of the things that he said. He really did boost my spirit that night and honestly, I can't express how grateful I am. Thanks buddy. <clears throat> now after finally getting over that rut, I knew 
that the next two weeks were gonna be vital. I had everything to gain and everything to lose. So after looking at the schedule, I decided to focus heavily on BM and Sejara as those were my weakest subjects. All the other subjects I've already got an A. So my plan was to work on Form 4 history and then only focus on BM until the day of the exam. Yes, I'm completely ignoring every other subject. So the day finally came. SBM. I was so nervous. I literally couldn't sleep the night before and I ended up sleeping late. But I woke up filled with energy, ready for the biggest exam of my life. Look at how cute I am. <laughs> I still remember how tense the atmosphere was at school. Everyone was so focused and anxious. When the time came, we entered the exam hall saying all our last good lucks to everyone. Just, ooh, it was such a weird feeling. This was my reaction right after doing the exam. It was amazing. I think definitely I deserve an A. This is the best I've ever answered. Like, my heart is was brother i'm in peace for bm quick shout out to chego sugos you legend you saved my bm you living legend day two done and dust okay english sick there's a chance to get a plus there's definitely a chance yeah i think today i'm gonna work a little bit harder because it's maths maths is un unpredictable could be good, could be hard, you never know. 24 hours later. The exam surprised me, like paper one was hard. But I think A plus is manageable. Paper two, I did really well. So basically, after the maths exam, my depression kicked in again. When it kicks in, it's really bad. When you're in that mood, like, you don't want to do anything. Like, I try telling myself, this is your future, this is SBM. You gotta work, man, like, you gotta do something. Nothing worked. It's already two o'clock. And I want to wake up at 4 to 4.30. It's going to be exhausting tomorrow. This is my tough journey to getting straight A+. Plus. I think I did quite well. I think I secured an A. I'm not, I don't, I, like, I think A plus is too far. I've done my best. I feel like I deserve an A, like solid A, not A-. minus. By the looks of it, like, if the graph really went down that much, I could even get an A+. Plus. I don't know, let's see. So yes, I thought I did quite well, but I couldn't have done it without my friend's wisdom. Kishan called. Kishan, uh, what do you have to say to me? Well, all right, man. Easy. You got it, guys. Like you watch all the door. First five minutes, you don't know, right? Just speak for five minutes. <laughs> then, wake up. Come out! That's all! <clears throat> Okay, so the next exam was Sajara. As you know, I'm not great at it. So I brought in some reinforcements, if you will. Okay, so, um, Epo, you still remember what happened the day before Sajara exam? We discussed it and then we smashed it. It came out exactly what we said. Exactly. We were in a video call. We, we were just discussing. Well, you pretty much guided me throughout everything. And then the next day, pretty much what we discussed came out. Some context before you watch my reaction, the highest I've ever gotten for Sejara Paper 1 is actually only 22. Now let's watch the reaction. Let's just say your boy, your boy, 37! <laughs> That's huge. Super happy and then Paper 2 was a bit tough but I feel like I did enough to get an A. Yo sub, so it's a chemistry day. Guess what came up this morning? Certificate of achievement for getting distinction in the Malaysian National Chemistry Quiz. Kind of gave me some confidence, you know, before the exam. My paper one, I got either 48, 47, or 46. It's because we're getting a lot of answers, but even the teachers aren't sure what the correct answers are. So paper two was nice, and then paper three it was also good. I might have messed up my uh, planning experiment. So, it's 8 in the morning. As you can tell, I'm not a morning person. We're going on an adventure today. Good morning, Jake Pollard. Never do that again. And, uh, ooh, in golden hour. Alright, uh, basically today me and Azim are gonna go to this library in KL. We're gonna study. Hopefully everything goes well. We have exams in a day. As you can see, today is the 24th. We have bio on the 25th and physics on the 27th. Star, star. And then SPM is done. For now, 
this, this is the aim. 100%. 100%. That's the aim. And we're about just on time. Let's leave the house. Montage rolling. So, <laughs> this is Azim, the hero who helped me get back up. He actually studies at the same school as Malaysian legends Dato Mokhtar Dahari and Rashid Sidek. Oh, and he also has a six pack. Yeah. So, we actually went to his school first because there was a revision class going on. And totally not because I begged him to bring me inside the school. Bro, we were just walking about, just came out to chill a bit. We got free food. Hopefully it's not poisoned. Thank God it wasn't you idiot. Do not accept food or drinks from strangers, alright you guys? I was so dumb here. And let's just say I heavily underestimated how much I had to study. I have about 8 chapters to go. So yeah, this is how I study. I have exams in 6 hours 50 minutes. Approximately 10 hours later. So, biology, all three papers was a bit weird. But luckily, paper one, your boy got 44 out of 50, which is not bad. I take it. So the last exam was upon us. Physics was probably one of the easiest exams for me. And I say that with proof because your boy actually got a 49. That's sick. This is the question that I got wrong. During paper three, because the exam was easy, almost everyone left the hall early, but I didn't. I was so emotional. I was about to cry. My school life was about to end in an hour. It was crazy and this is how it ended. <laughs> Bro, when we cross that gate, we're not students anymore. Yeah, I bet it's locked. No way. <laughs> it's locked! <laughs> okay, it's climbing time, but Imran, good luck, goodbye. You're on your own now. Bye bye, mate. <laughs> Imran Panjat Paga! <laughs> Damn, son! Whoa! Bian what? There's so much insects in there! Okay, I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Go! Ah! 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 What you're saying, man? <laughs> we are not students anymore! What? <laughs> <laughs> we are ex-students now! We are ex-students now! We are ex-students now! We are ex-students now! And that is how my school life officially ended. It was indeed a very emotional way back for me in the bus. I still remember how my high school life started. My first step, my first words were literally, let's go. After primary school, I wanted to change everything about myself. I didn't want to be called just a nerd anymore. I wanted to be something different, something unique. I worked so hard to be an all-rounder. I grasped every opportunity to grow, hunted for experience, and came way out my comfort zone, hoping that one day everything will be worth it. I had so much anxiety for my results because I had a dark thought that no matter how hard I try for something, I will never get what I actually want. I seriously needed SPM to prove that it wasn't true. That thought was eating me alive. Alright, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's just play the clip.
I did it. I actually did it. All the sacrifices, tears, hard work, everything was worth it. Absolutely no regrets. All I can say is always aim for the best, never settle for less, and let God handle the rest. This is my journey in SPM. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.